key and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God of our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages, of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Our beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth and fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for, her, for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Unto ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, in the veil of weeping, in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgivers which will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength. The God of gods shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than a thousand elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God, rather than rather to, than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord love of the mercy and truth, God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy, in thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn thine anger away from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us unto the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their hearts unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and he shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Be glad the soul, thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come, and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. 
Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice, that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty have sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy in me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me be whole and be put to shame. But thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me be whole and be put to shame. Thou, o Lord, for thou, O Lord, hast hope in me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As brother and sister united in godliness, together you struggled in contest. Zenobius and Zenobia, you received incorruptible crowns and unending glory, and shine forth with the grace of healing upon those, upon those in the world, both now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God does reveal the resurrection, stay nothing which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show the, forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the Theotokos who gave thee birth and who interceded for us. And thou our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us not up, deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake. Neither dost know thou thy covenant and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and Israel's, thy holy one. Holy God, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, both now and ever, unto ages of ages, amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor with inspired hymns the two martyrs for truth, the preachers of true devotion, Zenobius and Zenobia, as brother and sister they lived and suffered, together and through martyrdom received their, in their incorruptible crowns. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified of Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteous, and has mercy on sinners. Who call us all to salvation for the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sing to fire our souls, make chaser of bodies, 
direct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. We bless with thou unto the ancients of the ancients. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very therefore was thee do we magnify in the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God, be bountiful unto us, and bless us, and show the light of his countenance upon us, and be merciful to us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who had long suffering in the face of our transgressions, who has brought us even unto this present hour of wind, wherein thou didst hang upon the life-giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death, be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed and vanished. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary and forgive our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, that putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor. Thus, by following my commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ your God, and unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginal Father, thy most holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ himself, our King. And our God, come let us worship and call down before
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages. Amen. 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 Amen.
Christ, preserve the church in peace and save our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise Him, all people. Rejoice, O Holy Father, the Mother of Saints, O Savior. Return into Russia, thou didst find Christ, people be set God in the skies. With love and seal, thou didst minister to thy flock, not any of thy tools or rumors of wars. But only for the peace and salvation of all. For his mercy is to permit us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Rejoice, O glorious John, to the disciple of the Lord, to those consumed by the darkness of this world. The light of thy virtues was blinding when they sought to extinguish the light. Thou wast bring up for the victory of a earthly kingdom, but for the peace of the kingdom of heaven. Malice the godless one insulted and persecuted thee. Fill me, they they put thee to crucify them, granting thee the victory that they had sought. O pious and holy, higher matter, pray unceasingly that souls may be. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O city of Chicago, live with joy, O Son now I said in the blessed presence of the Holy Hiram, Mighty John, faithful and righteous priest of Christ, zealous teacher and defender of the truth, enlightener and the confused and soul of it is wrought. We rescue of those gone astray. We shepherd and pastor of the flock of Christ. Who is the penitentiary of Kikon and the holy martyr? And in North America with the rays of all who struggled unto death in defense of the faith and rush against the God despised. With me, praise for the peace of the world and the salvation of our souls. We shall stand up.
souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and their going from us to be the destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive a, good, a great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect, and he watches over his holy one. Wisdom, the reading from Proverbs, <laughs> let us attend. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. 
The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, what is perverse. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright delivers them, but the treacherous are taken captive by their lusts. When the wicked dies, his hope perishes, and the expectation of the godless comes to naught. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and the wicked go gets into it instead. With his mouth, the godless man would destroy his neighbor, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there are shouts of gladness. Wisdom. They're reading the wisdom of Solomon. Let us attend. For the righteous man, though he die or they will be at rest. For old age is not honored for length of time, nor measured by number of years. But understanding is gray hair for men, and a blameless life is ripe old age. There was one who pleased God and was loved by him, and while living among sinners, he was taken up. He was caught up, lest evil change his understanding, or God deceive his soul. For the fascination of wickedness obscures what is good, and Roman desire perverts the innocent of mind. Being perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness. Yet the people saw and did not understand, nor take such a thing to heart that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and he watches over his holy ones. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy, my soul, God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander. And for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we, again we pray for this country, its president, for all its civil authorities, and for those serving in its armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs. And for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, we pray especially for the servants of God, Ina, Debbie, Emilia, Oksana, Wayne, Veronica, and Despina, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox, the part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, for the priest Alexi, the Matushka Patricia, Anthony, Anisia, and Vaina, for the Matushka Susan, Deacon Paul, the Matushka Marsha, Mother Galena, Vera, Nina, Zachary, Joseph, Elizabeth, Joseph, Christina, Frida, Kayla. Phyllis, Jeff, Sivana, Alexander, Clayton, Mary, Jason, Galena, Samuel, Eric, Barbara, Roger, Robert, Elizabeth, Ruben, Benet, Juan, Mary, Jocelyn, Christopher, the Christians suffering in the Middle East, all those affected by COVID-19, those extinguishing wildfires, those who suffered loss of life and property, for those affected by hurricanes, Ida and Nicholas, for Sovereign, the Southern Paisios, Kelsey, and Stephen, for our catechumens, Lauren, Sherry, William, Patty, Josephine, Ann, Jeff, Kenna, Chris, and Shaquilla. For the servants of God, Tabitha and Demetrius. 
for the brethren of this holy temple, those whom they have invited for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And yet we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou art the merciful God who lovest mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, let me understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. And the holy, may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Granted, O Lord. And to the Lord, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Granted, O Lord. Let us ask of the Lord. Granted, all things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Granted, O Lord. And if we may take the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Granted, O Lord. Our Christian and and a good defense over the grand judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. And the great, the most holy, the most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Theodorus and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee the fearful judge who yet lovest mankind. Have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> my resurrection, O Christ, O Savior, has enlightened the whole universe. 
calling back thy creation. Glory to the Almighty Lord. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. O Savior, by the tree, thou didst destroy the curse of the tree. By the burial, thou didst mortify the majesty of God. Thou hast enlightened the race by the resurrection. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to for he is the steps of the world, so that it shall never be moved. O Christ, when thou hast seen nailed to the cross, thou hast restored the beauty of thy creatures. A soldier shall bear in humanity when they pierce thy side with the spear. The Hebrews not knowing thy power, as at thy tomb I deceived. But through the mercy of thy compassion, thou didst descend unto men rise on the third day. O Lord, glory to thee. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. O Christ, the giver of life, for the sake of the dead that is voluntarily in death, descending into hell as the mighty one, to save those who be thrown away by Ending in the life of paradise in Sabbath. Grant also to us in glory by thy resurrection on the third day. Ending of our sins and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O Holy Father, John, great pastor of the Church of Christ. Thou is a source of comfort and consolation to thy people, ministering to the needs as a servant of servants. Guiding them in an alien land like Abraham of old, returning to thy native land, thou didst likewise offer consolation to a people beset by evil and civil war. Thou is not condemned, O glory, parties. Thy sisters need praise to Christ for the restoration of peace and the end of suffering. For this <laughs> thou dost endure insult and injury, bearing all our Christ like manner, even unto the forfeit of thy earthly life. Now as thou dost stand before the Prince of Peace, intercede with him that he may grant peace to the world and salvation to our souls. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O most precious virgin,
Washington, thou art the gate, the temple, the palace, and the throne of the King. From thee, my Redeemer, Christ the Lord, appear to those asleep in darkness.
Together with the apostles Stachis, Apelis, Amplias, Urban, Aristobulus, and Narcissus of the Seventy, and of the martyr Epimachus of Egypt, whose memories we keep in the church this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yoakim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory. St. Paul, when he writes from prison, it still amazes me that he was able, under house arrest, to write letters to and distribute them to the faithful. This apparently was something that it was done with the ancient Romans. They allowed that courtesy, I suppose, to their prisoners. And he wrote, you know, I have learned how to be in abundance, and I have learned how to be in want. I have learned how to abound in everything, and I have learned how to lack things. And this was the part and parcel for him who was building up really the first Christian communities. And as we look tonight, 
we begin to look tonight at the life of St. John Kuchurov of Chicago and St. Petersburg, a modern martyr and saint like St. Paul, a missionary, one who not only devoted his life to the work of the church in a particular way, there's many ways to do that, but who went to a land that was not his own, to a people that were not his own, languages that were not his own, cultures, ways of living that were night and day different from what he knew. And he began in the city of Chicago, in the outlying area, to bring together groups of people that had been scattered. The, quite frankly, poor, in some cases near poverty level, some places poverty level, the Slavic immigrants that had come over, many of them confused even about what they were and being brought back into the Orthodox faith. But it was a difficult beginning, but there were glorious ones. Holy Trinity Cathedral in Chicago still stands, which he built. He and the faithful through their blood, sweat, and tears, and widow's mites, the story of Christ, the poor widow who gave her last two pennies. In many cases, it was these great financial sacrifices of these immigrants to build a beautiful cathedral, which still stands as a center of the Orthodox faith in Chicago to this day. Well over a hundred years later, probably 125. And these were glorious moments. It was really a moment where the people who had come to this land were able to find home, to come into the church to pray, and to know that in this alien land, this is a place I know. This is the kingdom of God. And he worked to establish uh, other parishes in Illinois and even in Hart Shore, Oklahoma, a little mission that up until this week, when I looked over his life, I did not know he helped incorporate, but I've driven through the scene. But then he began to also have to do the mundane things, to go and find these parishes, to do the grunt work, to find the faithful, the mundane administrative things. He began to teach as well, hours upon hours, every week during the summers at great expense to himself. His wife became somewhat sick, struggled with her health, his children as well, and he had to endure through all of this and to continue to serve his call. And then he was called back about 1906, 1907, back to Russia. And it is said that he saw sort of the writing on the wall. His bishop here in the, in the United States, Tikhon over here on the far or right, who had been here and served with him in North America, had now been elected the head of the Russian church, the first patriarch in centuries. And he was calling a great synod. People were excited. They were starting to look to the future in the Russian church. They were starting to look towards even some reforms. And St. And John was put in charge of much of the education, the work of the youth. But he could see that dark clouds were starting to form. 
And in 1917, the heavens opened, the rain began to fall, and the Civil War began, the fight for control of the Russian land. And it was to St. John would fall by divine providence to be the first priest martyr under the Bolshevik yoke. It's not entirely clear how he was martyred. He was serving, they say, at the altar, praying the services of the church. As we heard in the hymns this evening, he was not condemning the warring parties. He was not engaging in the politics of the day, but he was praying for peace. However, God would see to that. And he began to gather people for a cross procession, they say, and he was met at the door by the revolutionaries. And at some point they dragged him out and they either beat him to death or shot him in his vestments, having just exited the church. This was a man who knew how to be in abundance, how to thank God for the glorious moments, and how to remain steadfast and faithful in moments of real persecution and even death. Thanks be to God, here in the United States we do not have to face, and in the Russian land they do not have to face that kind of overt persecution today. But we have the enemy of our soul pressing against us. We have our own brokenness erupting out of us. We do have deceiving words coming to us through the prevailing culture. We need to learn from St. John's example to rejoice with those who rejoice, to weep with those who weep, but in all things, whether we are in abundance and joy or whether we are suffering through the trenches of spiritual warfare, to maintain our faith firm, to be diligent in our prayer, to be ready at all times to serve, to be mindful at all times of our own shortcomings and our own sins, knowing that as we come to our Lord Jesus Christ with our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, cleanse us of all unrighteousness, and provide us again with strength to take the next step in our journey of life and to be witnesses, martyrs is what that means, is witnesses of the truth that God has visited and has suffered with and has redeemed his people. To our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who suffered with and walked with St. John of Petruro, whose memory we keep today in his suffering and death, and who will walk with us throughout our lives, be our glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father, who has no beginning, and the all-holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We'll have, I uh, think we'll all come we'll have the veneration of the cross, and then I'll be available afterwards for confession. God willing, we'll have divine liberty tomorrow at 10 a.m. God bless you. Have a peaceful and undisturbed evening. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ.